It's Patrick from Half Wheel, and this is the Zykar Tactical One, one of the latest lighter releases from Zykar. It came out just at the end of 2019, so time to give it a review. Now, this is an extension to the Zykar Tactical Lighter series. It's the second lighter in the line, a follow up to the original Zykar Tactical, a triple flame torch lighter that came out late spring, early summer of 2019. Now, that lighter was a triple flame torch a more rectangular body style, very similar to a lot of triple flames that you see with inline uh, triple jets. And this, as you may infer from the name, is a single jet lighter, the Tactical One. Now, that is the real big selling point of this, is it's a single jet, but it's not your traditional single jet. It is a 10 millimeter diameter jet, which Zycar says will give you a 25 to 50% bigger flame than your typical single jet lighter which results in a better balance of power and precision. So I'll show you that in just a second. First, to give you some of the details about this, it measures three and a half inches tall and is about an inch wide and an inch thick. It comes in four colors. This one is called FDE Tan and Black, FDE standing for Flat Dark Earth. It's a color found very commonly in military applications and firearms and other such things. It's also available in a black lacquer, a gunmetal, and then a gunmetal and black combination. Each of them sells for $69.99. So let's get into the nitty gritty of the lighter. We'll start with the lid here and the cap. As you can see, it features these little divots. This is called a crenulated cap. And what this allows you to do is have somewhere to rest your cigar while you're smoking if you don't have a traditional ashtray. So you can just set your cigar in there, kind of sits in there like that, or you can do it the other way if you prefer. And I'm not going to tell you that it's going to be stable during a windstorm, but it is more than stable during sort of average everyday use. Tried it out a few times myself. Works with Lanceros, works with Gordos, works with everything in between. So really nice feature if that is something of value to you. And if not, it's just a nice thing to have. So that's the crenulated cap. Now we'll flip the lid open. Again, single flame torch lighter. Very standard looking, but again, this is 10 millimeters in diameter. And what Zycar says is this will give you a flame that is 25 to 50% bigger than your standard typical flame. Now, again, in millimeters, 25 to 50% may not sound like a lot, but it is a pretty decent amount. So I'll show you what the flame looks like by itself. And then I actually brought out a couple of other lighters, including a Zycar Tech, a single flame, a good old ST DuPont mini jet, one of my favorite lighters right here, the Calibri Daytona, which is similar to that. And then this new little guy, which is from Lotus and is part of their Margaritaville series. So I'll give you some comparisons of head to head in those lighters. So let's turn the lights off real quick. And I was actually just out on my balcony smoking a cigar. So this is about what I had it adjusted to. It's maybe a little bit high, but the breeze was a little more uh, blowing than I want it to be. So I had it up a little bit, but you can see nice, solid single jet torch lighter and really gives you a nice solid flame right there. And again, maybe a little bit higher. And again, I haven't calibrated these all for the comparison, but just to give you a quick idea what this looks like. So now let's fire up the Zycar Tech. So here is the Tactical One, and here is the Zycar Tech. Now don't worry too much about the flame height. I haven't really calibrated these. And like I said, the Tactical One's probably a bit high, but you can get an impression. It's a little bit bigger, lighter there. Again, we're talking millimeters here, but it gives, does give you a nice balance between power and precision. So now let's grab the ST DuPont and you can see very quiet lighter. Whereas with the tactical one gives you a nice sort of, you, you really do hear the butane in this one. And again, we're talking millimeters here. And again, depends on how the jet is configured, but it does give you just, you know, a little tick bigger flame. And again, like I said, I haven't calibrated all these. So that's the DuPont and here is the Calibri Daytona, which is a lighter I've really come to enjoy using. Unfortunately, I don't get to do it that much because it seems like I'm always testing lighters. But again, that's what those flames look like side by side. And then finally, the new one from Lotus Group for their Margaritaville line. And they have this available in a couple of different configurations. So you've probably seen it under a couple of different names. But that's what they look like side by side. So let's turn the lights back up here. So a couple of things I want to tell you about with the lighter. Again, we talked about the lid. One of the things you'll notice is there is a ton of texture on this lighter, ton of space. And I'll start at the top here, which are eight uh, mesh vents for the flame to get ignited and burning properly. I have to say, I don't recall really seeing eight vents on a lighter much. 
And what it does is it just creates a great flow of air to help get that lighter burning quickly. The ignition piece is one of the more solid ones I've used, and I'll give you a little closer peek there. I don't really know a ton about ignitions, and honestly, but the way that this one sticks out seems like one of the better ones that I have seen, and I rarely have had a problem getting this lighter to ignite every single time. Again, nice big ignition uh, slider here, tons of texture, lots of ridges here, very secure in the hand. As we move down a little bit, you'll see six fuel windows, three on each side. Now, this is one of the things I'm not terribly crazy about. The top one isn't terribly useful. There's some mechanical uh, stuff in there, and so you don't really see the butane. So the second one, the middle one, and the bottom one are the ones that are going to be most useful. They're also not tinted, which is something that we've seen on a lot of lighters from multiple companies, including Zycar. It's not a huge drawback. It's just one of those things of, that you notice when you're comparing them to other lighters on the market. Still works very well. You can probably see a little bit of butane still left in there. Haven't filled this one up in a little bit, but that's what it looks like, and that's what you'll be looking at for your fuel. As for the bottom, this is the flame adjuster knob. Super easy, as you can see. Nice big arrow right there. It's the entire base. It feels like a stack of coins in your hand. Gives you nothing but easy turning. And what somebody mentioned to me when I was showing them this is that they weren't always crazy about this design because it can get bumped, it can get knocked around, and therefore adjust the flame, and then you got to fiddle with it before you get your lighter using uh, using it again and then you know sometimes you might come out with a too big of a flame or too small of a flame it's a valid point I didn't find that happening this much there's just enough resistance where this doesn't twist too much on its own and again I tend to leave mine in my travel humidor and not really in my pocket so it doesn't get rattled around too much but it is something to take note of probably my second favorite design in terms of flame adjustment wheels I'm still a really big fan of those little flip out tabs because that seems to be the most secure in terms of the set it and forget it flame adjustment height, but not to be found here. So that's kind of the body of it. And then one of the more noticeable things about this is a clip that's on the back here. And this allows you to clip the lighter to your belt, to your pants pocket, to a bag, to pretty much whatever you want. And I will say it does hold fairly securely. I tried it out a few times. Not something I would probably use, so I'm not inherently crazy about it, but it is an interesting feature that you don't see on a lot of lighters. Now, that all said, if you don't like it, you can also remove it. And all you need to do is grab a small little Phillips head screwdriver. And I would recommend doing this on a dark surface because these are very small screws. And if you have a magnetizer for your screwdriver, I would recommend using that as well because it does help a little bit. But you just unscrew it like that. Off it pops. You can put the screws back in here. From everything I can tell, this does not affect anything with the mechanical function of the lighter. So it's purely just... A cosmetic change when you put the screws back in they won't sit perfectly flush so you'll feel them in there but again just gives you a little bit more texture something else to hold on to as you are using the lighter which is probably one of the nicest things about this thing is that there is just so much to hold on to it is very very secure in the hand so again this is the zycar tactical one it just came out at the end of 2019 69.99 available in four colors there's more about it in the review here on half wheel thanks so much for checking this out and we will see you next time